Bags are in the bedroom, Miss Danielson. I appreciate it, Ezra. I'm just a phone call away. In case you need anything. Uh, bye now. I uh, hope you find what you're looking for. Huh? Me too, Ezra. Sometime during my first night on the island, the storm has knocked out the lights in the house. The phone doesn't work and I can't sleep. I even tried to work. What a joke. The ideas aren't flowing any better here than they did at the office. Some vacation. But this isn't really a vacation, is it? A period of adjustment would be better. No, running away is more like it. God, that's depressing. Maybe I should just slash my wrists and be over with it. Face it, engagements are made to be broken, just like deals and contracts and promises. Only the rain never lies. Am I glad it's you, Ezra? Yes, I'm fine. No, there's no damage. E Ezra, look, I need some help.
Time he got through to Doc Hamilton. Seems like he spent the night on the mainland. I'll go get him. I hope it's not too serious. Mm. He's still breathing, lady. Ezra! <laughs> only joking, Miss Danielson, only joking. Well, don't look like nothing's broke, though. He's been like this since I found him. Mm -hmm. No wallet, no ID. The only thing I found was this watch he was wearing. To match with love. Well, he ain't from around here, that's for sure. You mind being alone with him while I go get Doc? I'll be fine. Really? Uh -huh. You sure you don't mind being alone with him? Never can tell nowadays. Don't want no trouble around here. I'm sure. Well, you're the boss. Don't worry, I'm a big girl. Well, he came to just long enough for me to check him out. And everything seems normal. Pumping. <laughs> Ooh, thank goodness for that. Yes, well, he's had a nasty blow to the head, but uh, as far as I can tell, there are no internal injuries. Of course, I'm going to have to report this thing to the authorities. Mm, maybe they'll have some word about a missing boat or something? Mm. His name might be Matt. That's all I know. Well, I'll try and find out what I can. Uh, best thing uh, is to just keep him warm now. Oh, thanks. Right. I gave him something to help him sleep more comfortable. And uh, give me a call when he uh, comes around. I'll, I'll have another look at him. I will. Good. Doctor. Thank you very much for coming. Pleasure. Uh, I could take him to the hospital on the mainland, if you like. Well, unless you think it's really necessary, he's fine here for the time being. Well, shoot yourself, Miss Daniels. Uh, aside from a wail of a headache. It'll be just fine. Okay, Doc. Ready to go now? Heck, yes, sir, Skipper. Uh, your bag, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you?
Don't be afraid. You're all right. Who are you? What happened? I'm Tamara. You had an accident. What kind of an accident? I don't know. I found you out on the beach this morning outside the house. Maybe a boat you were on got wrecked in the storm? Storm? Oh, come on. You don't remember the storm last night? You were wearing this watch. It says to Matt, with love. Oh. Are you mad? No one's ever asked for seconds on my scrambled eggs before. You must be starving. <laughs> Maybe that's what happens when you lose your memory. How are you feeling? Okay. I guess. Well, what do you feel? Nothing. <laughs> well, you must be curious, at least. Do you know this? There's a certain peace in not knowing the past. I mean, if it's bad, it's gone. Huh? <laughs> I could start over again. Maybe you hit upon a new cure for the blues. <laughs> I should try it. Why? You don't want to know. Sure. I mean, I've got to start the old memory bank somewhere, so... Besides, maybe it'll make you feel better if you talk about it. Well, his name was Todd. Of course it was, right? <laughs> Handsome, upwardly mobile Todd. One month away from a partnership in his law firm and desperately in love with me. Or so I thought. We were to be married. One of those major weddings, you know, everyone was going to be there. Everyone but Todd. Mm. I'm sorry. So was I. I was so hurt, I couldn't work, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. So I took this place to try to get myself back together again. Have you? Hardly. I've only been here about 12 hours longer than you have. <laughs> Want me to leave? <laughs> you can stay here as long as you want. Yeah, but you don't know anything about me. That makes two of us then, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll risk it. Come in. Whoops, sorry. No, 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 don't be. What'd you come up with? I found these. Well, it's the best I can do. 
<laughs> I wasn't expecting house guests. Well. Reach out front. Snug. Huh? Well, what's wrong with that? Uh, wait, Tamara, Tamara. I have to ask you a question. It's really important. Uh, yesterday when you found me, what was I wearing? Space suit. And last night when I woke up, I wasn't wearing anything. So who undressed me? You? Kinds of amnesia. Some's caused by emotional shock. And sometimes it's a physical injury that brings it on. That bump on the head could have caused a job real nice. <laughs> Is it permanent? No, no, not usually. Not unless there's uh, actual damage to the brain itself. Then total recall is almost impossible. Oh, in your case, I think it's just a question of time. No. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, he's fine. <laughs> Which I was a cell phone. Yeah. Interesting thing is, you don't lose your memory. You lose memories. There's a difference between what the conscious mind's forgotten and what the unconscious mind still remembers how to do. Of course, uh, I gotta warn you. There's no telling how long Matt's been like this. I mean, we're just guessing that the cause was a blow to the head. Meaning? Meaning that uh, amnesiacs often leave their homes wander around a bit, uh, eventually settle down in new lives, unless uh, they rediscover their old ones. Thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now what? I'm not wanted by the police. Harbor Master has no missing boats, and the newspaper around here is like two weeks behind the rest of the world. I'm starting to feel like the man from nowhere. My favorite type. Cheer up, we'll find out who you are. After all, somebody gave you that watch. To Matt. I don't even feel like a mat. What do you think? <laughs> it's all we've got. <clears throat> Come on. I'll buy you a hot fudge sundae. Oh. Wait a minute. What if I don't like hot fudge sundae? <laughs> it's only uh, one way to... <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Now, wait a minute. Is my conscious or my subconscious working? Doesn't matter. We'll take notes. <laughs> we'll build a character profile, feed all the information into a computer, and whammo, we'll find out just who you are. Yes. Maybe I'm a millionaire playboy with homes around the world, with a 200 foot yacht. Or maybe I'm a championship tennis player. Hmm? Maybe you're the head of a multinational corporation. 
Or maybe you're a spy. <laughs> What if I'm an accountant? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What if I don't like who I am? I like who you are. Thinking back in time when love was only in my mind, I realize Ain't no second chance you got to hold on don't let it slide <laughs> There's a special kind of magic in the air When you find another heart that needs to share I promised myself I'd try to get back into my work. Any luck? Not unless you call two false starts progress. <laughs> what have you been doing out there all this time? Close your eyes. What are you up to? Come on. Close them. Now what? Are you hungry? Famished. Good. Good. All right, watch your step. Easy, easy, okay. Fine. Come on. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I'm real good at surprise. Okay, you're gonna love this one. Okay, watch your step again. Just a little further. Great. Now, a little more. Okay, careful, careful. Okay. Just a second. Keep your eyes closed. Now, open. Oh, Matt, <laughs> fantastic. Close your eyes again. Tit around. We have two steps to go. All right. Okay, here's one. And one more. And... I can't believe you did this. I love it. Not bad, huh? And where did you ever find lilacs this time of year? <laughs> I've never been to a clam bake before. Well, I, uh... I guess I have. Let's eat. Come on.
What am I doing? I came here to get over one relationship, and now I'm falling into another one. And I don't even know him. He doesn't even know himself. At least I don't think he does. Matt, Matt, wake up. It's me. What? It's all right. You're having a bad dream. It's over now. It was a terrible storm. I tried to hang on to the boat, but I couldn't. I was washed overboard. It was so real. Was there anyone else? I, I'm not sure. I could have been. I just don't know. Some sleep. Stay with me, Tamara, please. Not for a little while. In case I dream again. I'm here, Matt. I'm asleep. Joanna? Joanna. Joanna. Last evening was wonderful, but it made me realize how unfair it is for me to try and be a part of your life until I learn about mine. I'll forever be grateful to you for what you've done. Of a man from nowhere. Do it. Did you see my note? Of course I saw your note. So? So? I'm, uh, I'm moving on. You don't need me to screw up your life. Oh, is that so? Well, let me tell you something. This morning before you left, I was trying to make up my mind what to do about you. And? And I decided exactly the same thing. I have enough problems without adding yours. Good. Good. So we, we both made the right decision. No. We both made the wrong decision. I need you 
Just as much as you need me, right now. So will you stop trying to be Mr. Macho and get in? All right, one condition. We just get in. Better. Mm, much. It's been a long time since I've ridden. I think every muscle in my body aches. Maybe I'm a cowboy. I feel great. You know, I once read about an old Chinese custom that said that if you save somebody's life, you're responsible for that person for eternity. Oh, God. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. What a burden. Must be some way I can let you off the hook. <laughs> well, I don't remember exactly, but I think that if you save my life, we're even. <laughs> Those old custom makers don't make it very easy, do they? <laughs> Tell me something. What? Where were you going this morning? Oh, I don't know exactly. Search of a name, place, familiar face. Must be somebody out there that knows who I am. That's funny, bits and pieces keep coming back to me, but... Nothing that adds up to anything. Well, I have a name for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joanna. You name? Uh-uh. Should it? Last night, after you fell asleep, you whispered the name Joanna. No, nothing. I thought maybe she was the one that gave you that watch. Hey, I thought we made a deal, huh? No more ifs. It's one of my problems. I'm too organized. I like everything to be planned out ahead of time. No surprises. Now look, we have to live each day as if it may be our last together. That's reality. Can you handle that? Want to race? Let me race. I thought you couldn't move. Oh, I can move <laughs> enough to beat you. Wait, okay. You're on. Uh. Uh, that's not fair. Just you wait. We'll see who's best. Come on. Joanna exists only in a dream. 
There's no proof that either one is real. Yes, this is Mr. Anderson. No, I'm sorry. He's not here right now, Captain. Oh. I'll be there in half an hour. She's found about four miles from here. Police have a cordoned off till they find the owners. Might be the one you're looking for. Maybe. A couple of fishermen spotted her floating adrift. Nobody aboard, though. So they towed her straight in. Considering the size of the storm, it's damn lucky she's still in one piece. What could have happened? Hard to say. The sea can be unforgiving, Miss Danielson. Any word on who owns her? Not yet. They're still checking the registry. There she is. Lilac 1. Can I go aboard? She's off limits. I could set it up with the police if you like. Not at the moment, Captain. Thank you very much for your help. Do you think I could hold on to this photo? I don't see why not. Thanks. If anything else comes up, I'll give you a hauler. taking you to dinner. You're taking me? Yes. What'd you do, rob a bank? Nope. I met Ezra. You robbed Ezra? <laughs> I chopped wood. <laughs> What's that? Well, it turns out that Ezra has a son about my size, and I promised to have these back to him first thing in the morning. Aren't they great? <laughs> huh? I'll tell you the truth, I'm not crazy about the tie. Why? It's Ezra's favorite. He loves it. You know, I'm not going out to dinner with Ezra. Now, Ezra told me about this wildly romantic place near the marina on the mainland. And he said the food is even better. Remember, that's the same man that bought that tie. Our reservations are at nine. Just whistle. I'm so confused. If I tell him now about Lilac One and I'm wrong, I've gotten his hopes up for nothing. If Lilac One is his boat, then I've lost it. If I don't tell him, who am I really protecting? How do I look? Magnificent. And the man from nowhere? Staggeringly handsome. <laughs> Your carriage awaits, Miss Danielson. Shall we? Somehow it doesn't seem to matter. 
what my life was before I met you. Um, I've never been so happy. Don't say that, Matt. Maybe you are married, involved with another woman. No other woman can make me feel that way. Not possible. Matt, please. There's still too many unanswered questions. There's only one question that has to be answered now. <laughs> How about some more wine? To tonight. I'm impressed. Ezra's taste in food exceeds his taste in ties. <laughs> well, I, um, have a confession to make. I bought this tie. <laughs> you bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does that mean we're through? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't trust men who wear ties. I hate to see the rest of your wardrobe. <laughs> you know, I'm a different person at the agency. I get so stressed sometimes. I don't think I'm very much fun to be around. <laughs> it's not easy coming up with ad copy for 20 different clients. I mean, you have to be a combination of Pablo Picasso and Sigmund Freud all rolled into one. But here I am, calm, relaxed. What are you looking at? I haven't shut up, have I? <laughs> Master called today. You didn't tell me. They found a boat this morning. She's called the Lilac One. Lilac One? Name mean anything to you? Sure, I know, but it doesn't. You want to see her? She's docked right over there. Not 
so far. Come on, let's go for it. Matt, the police have it blocked off. Have we seen any police? No. Good. Must be okay then. Come on. It's okay. Hey. Nice boat. I'll go first. Yeah. Matt, you all right? Yeah, I just gotta find a light. Uh, hey, we're in luck. I think so. Are you sure? Tamara, how can I be sure? I don't recognize any of this. You seem to know about boats, though. I probably know about a lot of things. I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me about this earlier? Don't be angry with me, Matt. I was afraid. For me or for you? For both of us. It's not easy, is it? It's cold. I think I saw some blankets somewhere. Maybe they're dry. But ah, here, here they are. Better. Don't be sad. What's important is right now. And right now we have each other. Hello. Morning, Miss Danielson. It's Captain Kaminsky. I have some news for you. They've turned up the registry on the Lilac One. They found the owner. They have. Her name's Joanna Robbins. Joanna. That's correct. I have a phone number where she can be reached if you want it. Yes, please. Got it. Thank you. Captain, was that Miss or Mrs. Robbins? I'm not really sure. It's simply registered to Joanna Robbins. I can try to find out for you if you like. Oh, no. No, thank you. Thanks for calling, Captain. Oh, you're welcome. Matt! 
My name is Tamara Danielson, and I... I'm calling about your boat, the Lilac One. It's very important that you call me back at area code 311-555-4736. Thanks. something important to tell you. The harbor master called to tell me that they found the owner of the boat we were on last night. He told me it was a woman. Her name's Joanna. Joanna Robbins. It still doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, Matt, I love you. I don't want to lose you. Amara, listen to me. No, you listen to me. I got in that Jeep to sort things out. Try to understand what I feel that I know now. Tamara. That whoever you are, it doesn't matter. We have a right to be together now. But I just want you to know that when you remember, and you will, you're free to go if you have to. I will never leave you, Tamara. Listen, my memory may be shattered, but I know that I could never have felt this way about anyone else. Yes, this is Tamara Dennis. Yes, I did. Yes, thanks for calling back. There's someone I'd like for you to speak to. Just a moment, please. It's Joanna. 
This is Joanna Robbins. Hello? This is Matt. She won't be here till the morning. Are you sure you don't remember her? No. She's sure she knows me. Tamara. I couldn't sleep. No. Neither could I. What if Joanna is your wife? <sighs> no, I've, I've been going over and over and over that in my mind. I mean, is she really my wife if I can't remember her? Is it right for me to go back to a life that I'm no longer a part of? I don't know, Matt. You're the only one that can answer that. Tamara. Look at me. My life is here with you. Just hold me. Just She'll be here soon. To Matt with love, Joanna. We don't know that. Not yet. What are you thinking? You really want to know? I was thinking about that painting we saw aboard the Lilac One. 
must have been Joanna. She's beautiful. You're beautiful. Matt, don't be angry with me, but I, I don't want to meet her. I can't handle it. I understand. Do you? Tamara, I want you to know no, that... Don't say anything. Whatever you do, whatever you decide, just know that I love you. These last few days have been the best of my life. I told you that first day I'd take the chance. I'm not sorry. I love you. Matt was already gone when I got back. I guess he couldn't bear to say goodbye any more than I could. He left a note saying that Joanna claimed to be his wife. He said he told her he didn't want to leave. But she thought a trip home might jog his memory. It wasn't easy for him, but he decided he owed her at least that. Matt left that terrible tie he bought the night he took me to dinner, saying he wanted to leave something for me to remember him by. Oh, Matt, you left me so much more. You'll never know what those few days meant to me. I learned that love doesn't have to be forever. That even a few precious moments can last a lifetime. I love you, and I'll always love you. And I pray you're happy. Ready to push off, Miss Danielson? Sorry you're leaving so soon, Miss Danielson. Guess you didn't find what you came for. Not true, Ezra. I found more than I came for. Ezra, you ever wear ties? Only when I have to. Here's a present for you. Uh, I hope I'm not hurting your feelings on Miss Danielson, but I uh, don't think I'd wear anything like that. You wouldn't, huh? Nope. Don't think I know anyone who would. Fantastic, Tammy. Absolutely what we're looking for. I love it. You really mean it, Tom? Honey, if I love it, the client will love it. Well, you can be real proud of yourself, kid. You did some good work here. Getting away for a while really does wonders sometimes.
missed you too, Tamara. You have no idea. What about Joanna? It's over. I don't understand. It all came back to me, Tamara. The day that I went out on the lilac was the day that Joanna asked me for a divorce. There was someone else, a man that she wanted to marry, and I was so angry that all I could think of doing was getting away. I mean, I wasn't even aware that there was a storm until it hit. What about the divorce? Well, Joanna changed her mind as usual. When she came to the island, she wanted me to come back. She wanted to start all over again. But that's not the first time. After being with her and thinking about you, I knew it was over. I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. I want that too, Matt. <laughs> So much is happening so quickly. We need some time. Well, in case you have forgotten, you still have two weeks vacation. I spoke to Ezra. The house is still available. <laughs> I don't believe you. Is that a yes? That's a yes. <laughs> Stay tuned for previews of more Shades of Love movies. Two is The Rose Cafe, about Courtney Fairchild, a hardworking young chef whose dream to open her own restaurant is about to come true. Soon to be married, her life is suddenly complicated by the arrival of her high school sweetheart. Perfect. Hold your breath, Robert. If this fails, so do we. Well, just kidding. Sort of. Excuse me. Is your name Courtney Fairchild? I'm Josh Harper. Well, maybe you don't remember me. Josh Harper, I don't believe it. Where have you been? Mike, you scared me. It's seven minutes to three. I've been waiting for you. I met someone for a drink. An old friend from school, Josh Harper. To times that never were. that are and still might be. My fiancé, Mike Ward, Josh Harper. You're still gonna marry him. 
but I have to go on with my life. Be reasonable. The Rose Cafe is a losing proposition. Can't you see that? I've never quit on anything in my life, and I'm not about to start now. I know what I don't want. And I know that whatever brought us together in the first place isn't strong enough to keep us there. To the Rose Cafe. I eat bloom forever. I didn't think I'd see you again. Driver? Champagne for Two, the story of Cody Prescott, an architect whose career decisions have always ruled her personal life, until Vincent McBride becomes her unexpected roommate and makes her re-examine her priorities. Corner B11, is it redrawn? Yeah, Pete's got it. You're doing great. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I can't believe this is just a stack of drawings six months ago. Are we thrilled? Uh, I'm single and married. Excuse me. Maybe you haven't been involved with the right kind of person. What kind of person is that? I want to change it. It's the last thing I want. You know how that old song goes? You don't know it, dear. What? I love you just the way you are. <laughs> This project is brilliant. It's massive, it's been yours from the start, and I need you to move to Philadelphia to cover it. I have to move there? Just when things are starting to get off the ground, I don't believe it. What are we talking about here? Compromises? Someone has to compromise? Yeah, it's not gonna be you, is it? And it isn't gonna be you. Have you heard from, uh... I can't avoid him. He's in the newspaper, he's on the idiot box, you still love him, don't you? Really? I'm glad that we did what we did, and even the way it ended. This is it, okay? Walter and I, we need a place to stay, and we thought if we could stay here one night, uh, we'll leave tomorrow, we'll be gone, we'll be out of your hair. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I brought champagne. Volume 4 is Sincerely Violet, about Dr. Elizabeth Prentice, a conservative college professor who discovers the wild side of her life in the guise of a cat burglar named Violet. But this double life becomes double trouble when a handsome and wealthy businessman falls in love with Violet. Violet is your wild side, kiddo. The side that you never let anyone see. But I don't have a wild side. You don't, huh? Trust me. Thank you.
Shades of Love brings you romance in all of its colors, emotions, and moods. Starry nights and soft pillows, moonlit dinners and crackling fireplaces. Carl Lorimar makes it easy for you to own these romantic movies. Call this number for information on how to start your collection of Shades of Love romance video novels. And if you like the music from the Shades of Love movies, the soundtrack album is available on Capitol Records and Cassettes. This album includes a collection of memorable songs to keep the glow of love alive.